in Fahrenheit. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit enter. Um, the f hit number five battery data. This is one of the things you're going to definitely want to record. Uh, we replaced the batteries before we came out here. The, this thing is really battery hungry, so have an extra set of batteries in your in your meter case. Uh, the parameters you really want to look at. Uh, you can go down to like nine volts, I believe. But the alkaline is 90%, that's good yet. And this NIMH and NICAD 100%, those are what you really want to look at. If they start getting down in the 90s, low 90s, it's probably time to, to change the batteries. So Janice, go ahead and hit enter again. And what batteries does it take? I believe they're double A. <clears throat> Jim? Yes. Can you change the um, temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius? I'm not sure. Okay. Not sure. I, I I would think you can, but you know, I'm not off, off, off top of my head. No. Okay. Uh, and then number six, display raw data. Okay. This is this is the one critical thing that you have to you need to record. And what this is is basically the SNR1 and SNR2 is the acoustic waves that's going out, and it's kind of picking up the somewhat the turbidity. It's not the turbidity rating. But if it's very clear, it's a low number. Below, like 10 and below, it's those, those numbers are low, and it's not recommended to make a measurement there.